we are concerned about the agitation from parts of the country for a split. We have seen the enormous height we can attain as a nation by being together. And this togetherness has brought us friendship from across the country. We have intermarried. We sit and watch soccer together without bringing down the roof. We wine and dine together, celebrating each other's breakthrough and success stories. Our differences only becomes pronounced when we talk about leadership. Perhaps leadership is a challenge for us as a nation. Leadership goes beyond people at the helm of affairs. It includes you and I and the ordinary Nigerians. Whatever we do in our little space have a ripple effect on who we are as a nation, how far we can go, and how far we will go. We believe, in, we believe that one Nigeria is possible if we fix our leadership challenge. In doing this, we shall be looking at critical areas of our national life under these six sub teams, which will be handled by some experts. We're looking at, in this one project, Nigeria, uh, one voice uh, Nigeria project, we'll be looking at national unity, religious understanding, national security, education, resources, our home front. Religion can, cannot be swept under the carpet if we must achieve unity and peace. There are a lot of discontent people who need to be heard and addressed. We believe that the coming conference will help to heal such wounds. Because apart from this, we are also planning for a national summit very soon, which will be coming by next month. So there are a lot of things I'll be discussing there as well. The insecure institution has become a national embarrassment. It is affecting our social and economic life. Has a fear of being caught in the web, has forced, as, uh, as a fear of being caught, caught in the web, has forced people to remain in their safe zone. And with the way things are now, do we still have a safe zone? Everyone is feeling the heat. The rich, the poor, people in the urban areas, and those in the rural areas. Nowhere is actually safe. Education is another key area we will be looking at in our time. A student being awarded a degree is said to, be, is said to have been found worthy in character and learning. Does that freeze still apply till date? Where did we get it wrong? How can we get it right? These are some of the issues we hope to address in the coming days. The home front is another, the home front is, is also a major cause of concern for us as an organization. We have seen both online and offline the consequences of leaving our children unguarded and in the wrong hands. The upscaling stories of ritual killings, banditry, incense can all be attributed to the loose home front. We do hope that the coming events will generate answers to how to inculcate the right morals in the coming generations. We also need to talk about how to better manage our natural resources for the overall good of the people. Part of the agitation is by people who feel cheated because of because they believe that they deserve more. They deserve more than they are being given, yeah. We may not be able to solve all the problems, but we know that giving people avenue to air their grievances, initiating dialogue among wearing parties will definitely help to calm nerves and give room for growth. After the Abuja Declaration, bringing all stakeholders together to discuss way forward, after that conference, we intend to go to the six geopolitical zone in the country with our message of peace and one united Nigeria because we believe that being together, we're stronger, we're more formidable, we'll be able to grow our economy, and we'll be able to sustain what we have, our cultural values, our heritage, where we are coming from, and where we are going as a nation. The ignorance of people will be visited and we'll be able to do something tangible for ourselves as a country. What we need is one voice, understanding our differences, emphasizing value for human life. If you can watch my back, if I can watch your back, 
and we value ourselves, everything will be in place in this country. Yeah. We play a very, very vital role in, make, in ensuring peaceful um, cohabiting at this time. The issue of ethnicity is one which we shouldn't take with the hands of levity. We have coexisted many years before our various births, and it will not end now, not anytime soon. The One Nigerian Project, the One Nigeria Project is one that myself, Suzanne Adekoka, will key into as a social media commentator, influencer, influencer, because I can say from now on till tomorrow how ethnicity is currently sitting on a gun powder, from bullying to vulgar words and so many other animals. But we have to we have to make sure that we do not let this continue and we have to be intentional about this. We are now saddled with the tidying to tidy the mess that politics and social misconduct and wrong upbringing has cost us as a people. This, this is tedious, I must say, it's not an easy job. The onus is on each and every one of us who, is, who has a media platform, who has a large following on social media to make sure that we are intentional about the conduct of our followers about the interaction of our followers, of our commentators on our platform. I will end this with a quote from a popular American actor, Tyrese Gibson. The world is an empty canvas. It is waiting for new thought to think and it's on all of us.